Installation guide for radiation cross-linked heat shrink joint with welding plugs. Heat shrink joint is designed for pre-insulated pipes with bare steel pipe of 150 mm and 220 mm. Attention, in case of pre-insulated pipes with the steel bare ends of the length of and 220 mm use the joints with the letter L in the name code. The joint content consist of, heat shrink radiation cross-link joint, two venting plugs, two welding plugs, two cleaning tissues and installation guide. Preparation of the joint. Before joining of the carrier pipe you should slide the complete packed set of the joint onto one of the pre-insulated pipes to be joined. After welding of the steel carrier pipes, slide the packed joint onto the joining area until the other steps of installation are going to be carried out. Trade packing protects the joint elements against moisture and pollution. Shrinking of the joint. Before starting of the installation works ensure if you are equipped with all necessary tools needed for proper performance of the joint. At the beginning remove wet and dusty insulation foam for about 2 cm deep of the frontal surface of both pre-insulated pipes. Clean and undust precisely the pre-insulated pipe in the area of the joint installation. Clean it with the sandpaper of thickness 60 or 80. Join the alarm wires if needed, according to the instructions of the pre-insulated pipe producer. Clean and degrease the jacket pipe in the jointing area with the use of cleaning tissue. Push the joint away on the save distance. Using weak flame of propane butane burner warm up the jacket pipe in the area of jointing. The action is meant for obtaining good binding of jacket pipe and install joint. Recommended temperature level of warming up is between 55 and 66 Celsius degrees. Most comfortably to measure by pyrometer. Experienced assemblers are also checking the temperature with the use of hand touch. Unwrap the joint and next set and center the position of the joint over the jointing area. You may use foaming holes for this action, setting the proper position of the joint can be done by putting fingers in them, and next feeling the pre-insulated pipe edges. Mark out to reference lines of the joint edges position on the jacket pipe. Peel of the protection paper from the inside sealant, hot melt and mastic. Shrink down the joint ends from upper part towards bottom with stable yellow flame of the propane butane burner. Start shrinking from the beginning of the shrinking zone towards the edge of the joint. The joint should be shrinked evenly all round its axis by moving the burner towards its edges. Make sure the bottom part of the joint is heated sufficiently, in the pipe and the joint remain coaxial. Repeat the steps with the other end of the joint. During the shrinking do not heat the foaming holes, and do not overheat the jacket pipe. Shrinking process may be finished when the shrunk ends are round and stick closely all around to the jacket pipe. Some little discoloration of violet blue color as an effect of the shrinking is allowable. Next leave the joint to cool down. After finished shrinking process the joints with sealant of type K, hot melt, should flow out from under the ends of joint. After finished shrinking process the joints with sealant of type M, butyl rubber mastic, and P, butyl rubber mastic and hot melt, may flow out from under the ends of joint. Recommendations concerning pre-insulated joints say that it is advised to do tight tests of the joint under the pressure of 0 point to bar. The joint is tight if the pressure remains the same for at least 2 minutes. The test should be carried out as soon as the joint cools down below the temperature of 40 Celsius degrees. If the installation of the heat shrink joint by Radpull is worked out properly the tight test is not necessary. 
foaming of the joint. Hammer in one of the venting plugs and foam the joint according to the producer's guidance, make sure you obey the advices concerning the right temperatures. In case of per liquid foams recommended by Radpool you should join together the contents of both containers. And next by multiple shaking mix both of the components. The mixture formed in such way should be quickly poured into the remaining foaming hole. Hammer in the second venting plug. Bulging foam should fill up the interior and accompanying chemical reaction should warm up the joint. Welding the plugs. Remove the venting plugs as soon as the foam hardens and the joint cools down. Use sandpaper for cleaning the holes areas. Enlarge the foaming holes with a taper dreamer of diameter 27 mm, and next remove the remains of the foam from the joint surface around the holes. Fasten the welding plug in the plug welder holder. The welding plug in the joint should be warmed with the use of plug welder until the material flashes even all round. Make the oscillation movements with a plug handle during warming the plug to obtain even all round material flash. Next push the warmed plug into the warmed hole and keep it until the materials of these two fuse each other. The plug and the joint should make one surface. The flash of the material should form an even symmetric ring on the all circumference. Visual test of the assembled joint. After installation works test visually correctness of the joint assembling. Attention, products with butyl rubber mastic as a sealant, should be installed within 18 months since the date of their production. Waste which appear during the installation process should be recycled in accordance with general environmental protection regulations.